Hey guys, um, I did strong verbs for my learning screencast. Um, here's my handout. There is a picture of a little dude with the word verbs. Oh yeah, I thought that was pretty cute. So it starts out with strong verbs, the definition. They're common verbs that can improve writing and add detail. Most strong verbs are also past tense. Um, a strong verb can beef up a sentence and paint a picture in the reader's head. Um, a strong verb can change a sentence entirely. For example, I used my son's name, Rylan, ate a sandwich for dinner, and Rylan devoured a sandwich for dinner. If you read that in your head, as opposed to thinking of someone just regularly eating a sandwich, devoured paints a better picture, in my opinion. Um, by changing the verb from ate to devoured, oops, sorry about that. Uh, the sentence has a much more formal and powerful presence about it. Um, here's a couple of examples for the strong verb list that I chose. Um, so I chose a word and then I also picked words that you could use besides that particular word. So for eight, um, we could use devoured like in our example above, or we could also use nibbled, gobbled, consumed. For went, we can use skipped or hopped. For the word said, we can use roared, barked, or hollered, and for the word went, we could use ejected. Um, strong verbs add a certain spunk to a sentence and work closely, sorry about that, with sensory descriptions. For example, um, the scuba, di scuba diver climbed out of the freezing water and then walked to the boat dock after his last dive in the deep blue ocean. The scuba, scuba, the scuba diver emerged out of the freezing water and then strolled to the boat dock after his last dive in the deep blue ocean. I'm sorry, I worked so long this week, so if I'm a little choppy, that's my fault. Um, the video, which I will show you now, here is the link to it. Um, and this says, how can strengthening weak verbs make sentences more forceful? And this was just a really cute little video. So let's take a look. I thought that little bit right there was really cool how it says that strong verbs have to there sometimes you have to use them to make your sentences more powerful kind of like the example I used when I said Rylan ate a sandwich as opposed to Rylan devouring a sandwich there is something about using a strong verb that just paints such a better picture in your head especially when you're reading a book and you're really into it and it's just one of those books that you can't put down, the ones that you spend the whole night reading, and you just paint a picture in your head of this book. Using strong verbs um, definitely helps with those, you know, these sentences and painting a picture in the reader's head. And I know personally, I like when I read, I try to imagine things. And it's a lot easier to change one verb into a strong verb than, as the video said, adding adjectives and adverbs and nouns. Because when you just start adding a whole bunch of words, that's when your sentences can get choppy and long. And um, I hope you guys enjoyed this. Um, this video link is available in my um, Word document that I'll be posting if anybody wants to watch it. So thank you for watching.